In today's video, I'm going to talk through another variation in the double corner opening. The double corner opening, of course, begins 9 to 14. And I'm sure a number of you in your games online have seen replies of 2218, which is the theoretical best reply to the double corner opening, or the also very popular 2217, which is what I'm going to focus on today after 2217, it's best for red to advance to the center square and beyond 15. And for white, the best response is following up 2522. 2319 opens up all the attacks for red. Red can play a number of different opening attacks here. So 2522 is the most restrictive. Going into square 13 allows the powerful 1519, and it's just a weak game for white. But this 2522 keeps the balance in check. The variation I'm going to talk about today is this 1519 strike. Planting a piece on 19 and taking control of the center of the opening. I'm sure a number of you have either played this attack or have played against it, and I'm going to talk through some key variations in this video. Let's bring up that move sequence again. So 914, 2217, 1115, 2522, and then the 1519. So White, of course, is forced to capture. Red captures back. And then either one, it doesn't matter which way white captures first, it all ends up being the same. But let's capture 2316 first. And then 1710. Now, please note that red cannot capture. 714. This capture will actually lose because now white can attack with 2724 and there's no protection here. So white will gain the free piece and will win the game. So it's important to jump 6 to 15. This is the key move to draw. In these types of formations, after this piece is now on 15, you'll see there's a little bit of liability here for red in the double corner. There's not a piece on 10, 14, or 9. And generally speaking, in these types of positions, it's best to attack that by going 21-17, looking to invade the square on 14 and establish a foothold in red's double corner. Red is going to combat that, again, typically speaking in these types of formations, with 5-9. Now that really stunts the development here for white, and going into 13 is really not very good. Instead, the best way for white to attack this is now to start working on these two pieces on 15 and 19, and it does that by going 27-24. Red has two key defenses here, either 1-6 or 2-6. After 2-6, for example, keeping the bridge intact, white can now play 22-18. And now this red piece is deep into white territory, but it's still well protected because of these pieces here. One route to play here, and was actually recently played in the 2022 World Championship match between Moisev and Scarpetta, and that's this 7-10. And instead of developing 32-27, white is just going to play 30-25. So red taking the piece, and now white getting the piece back. And in that same game, the draw was conceded after 6-10. And it's best just to clean up the board at this point by going 1814 
and I'm sure a number of you can now see the 3 for 3 sequence here after 2623 and now the triple jump but I'm going to show another variation before that 710 sequence which I prefer and I think is another really good defense Let's go through another variation in this double corner opening. So again, 914, 2217, 1115, 2522, and then the 1519 exchange. So after we take all of the exchanges, and then of course the key 6 to 15 jump. 2117, 5-9, stopping any further advance, 2724, 2 6, and then 2218. So instead of the early 710, which again cleans up the board very nicely, this 913 is also a very good defense. And the play here I'm going to show actually comes from old master play. White can immediately exchange off or look to exchange off with 3025. After 710, it just becomes more of a restrictive game. So there's not really much to play for there. Instead, this 3227 is a very good attack and then red can follow with 6-9. If 3025 is played now, red has 1-5, and then after the exchanges, 9-14 for the 2 for 2, and it ends up being an even game of sorts. If 27-23 is played, Red can exchange off with 8-11 next for a good game. But this 26-23 is probably the best attack here. And once 26-23 is played, Red once again can exchange off with 8-11. And now White can exchange the piece off 9 with 17-14. Master play gives this 11-15 as a losing move, but it's probably a draw, with 28-24 actually probably the best way to attack this. It's not, it's weak for red, but it's probably not an outright loss. So instead of 11-15, exchanging the piece off 14 with 7-10 is actually best. And then there's some really good instructional play here on how to break this bridge because what white wants to do is keep this part of the board intact and let red do all of the work. So white is just going to develop some pieces now and red is going to work on getting rid of this bridge. Now red can play 13-17 safely because, again, white cannot play 30-25 here because you have 10-14. And now establishing a nice column here, but there's still some work to do. Red forced to go 11-15. White is going to continue marching to get a king. And now red has established a good position here where the piece can be exchanged off. If white goes 30-25 next, you just have this 22-26 exchange. But white's going to leave this B for now and get a king. 
and now red needs to start moving this piece out of the way so it doesn't get pressed from behind. Now the exchange can safely be made with 2226. And now the white king is going to further press. Be careful not to move 1418. This will actually lose in a long endgame, so it's best just to go to the side and into 21 and it's just a a good game at this point if white continues to press onward white's going or red's going to get a king exchange out so you can either develop 2016 it's probably best but it's just a really good solid game for both sides Okay, let's go over this double corner variation, but this time you can see it from White's perspective. So once again, 914, 2217, 1115, and 2522, and now we have the break with 1519. So after the exchanges, And again, of course, jumping 6 to 15, as 7 14 will lose by 27 24. And as I mentioned previously, in these types of formations, developing with 21 17 is best. Doesn't disturb your position at all, and red is forced to do something. To develop its double corner and it does that by going 5-9. I also mentioned 17-13 is generally weak and it is it's sound it's a sound move but really red has choices of either 9-14, 1-6 or 2-6 and further develop this column here striking towards white's double corner. So again generally speaking it's not a very good idea to go into 13 right away. With instead here, going 27-24 to do something about these two center pieces for red. Red can play 1-6 now, or 2-6. If 1-6, the same can be played with the 22-18 advance. But after 2-6, we now have the exchange. And 7-10, again, can seize the draw pretty quickly after the exchanges. And then 6-10, and then 18-14, and the 3-for-3. Three three. But instead, I do like this 9-13. Developing 32-27, and then 26-23. Red can now exchange the invading piece off of 15. And white can now exchange the piece off 9. Was 1714. Again, it's best to just exchange this invading piece off right away as 1115, which again was listed as a loss in master play, but it's probably sound but very weak, can be countered with this 2824. So instead, 710 exchange is best. And now white is just going to leave these pieces here, let red do all the work, and start developing to get a king. And it does that by 
Now red has the column here. And now establishing the break for the bridge. White is going to get a king. Red moves out of the way. And now the exchange can take place. Another press for white. And again, moving into this square will lose. But moving into this square is safe. And now we have a good draw game. I did put a lot of focus on that 2-6 variation. I'll show the 1-6 just so you can see the subtle differences with it. So we have the opening, of course. Twenty-one seventeen, and now one six instead of the two six. So after one six, the exchange still works. And if red decides to cut off with seven ten, which is probably best, you have thirty twenty five. And then 610. Now, once again, the 1814 break. I'm sure a number of you can see the triple jump that is happening. And then, not going into 1713 right away, but instead developing 2925 and then 811, and then possibly. 32-27 for a really good, even, open game here toward the end. So I hope you enjoyed these variations of the double corner, and hopefully you can use them in your own games going forward. Thanks, as always, for watching.